Righto guys and girls, last video, I promise, I promise it's the last video because I really want a break from making videos. But I want to bring you the updates as I uh, find new things to try and keep it as close as possible as live so I can get some feedback from you and, and see where the next stage is. Now the last battery I tested came back at 75 amp hour which is pretty bad and then the BMS shut off at uh, where is it 90 uh, 49 volts a 78 amp hour came back at and shut off at 49 volts so all three of the batteries are definitely reduction of power so what I've done is I've opened up one of the batteries I'm happy to uh, avoid the warranty on one because I really want to get get this sorted and bring you the information of what I've found plus I get to play with batteries no different to any other time that I've bought batteries and opened them up and done reviews on them so uh, it is what it is so let me show you what I found so this is the cells inside the battery I'm not going to be showing you the BMS and barcodes or anything like that I'm going to do a video on that at a later date but I just want to show you the cells inside the battery and what I've found so we can see they actually must be using 50 amp hour cells and they've paralleled them together and then obviously series that up to make the 48 volt battery or 50 uh, 1.2 nominal voltage so i've done an individual test on each one of those cells and this is what i've come back at and you can see they're all over the place so we've got 3.44 3.38 we've got 3.54 3.59 3.34 and you can see that they're all over the place so it's definitely a cell imbalance issue that has arisen whether it is a fault of my voltage or whether it's just the bms not keeping up i don't know we could put another bms on it uh and an active balancer so i'm going to ask you about that one in a minute so this cell here this cell here or the, the two that are parallel together i was getting the voltage of 3.34 so what i've done is I've put that onto my power supply. So I've set my power supply to 3.5 volts. That's a constant voltage, so that is not going to change. So we're not gonna over, overload it. And then this little mini power supply, we're putting in about 400 milliamps. That's about all this can do. It's not a very big power supply. So I'm going to just let that sit, bring that cell up, and I'm going to do that to all of the cells that are down, bring those up. I've also, got it on the little charger there at 56 volts as a absorption or a float charge hopefully that might get the BMS a little bit more active who knows so that's the progression I've made today that I really did want to bring you as soon as possible so you can keep up to date so what I can do with this so I've got to balance these cells out so I'm going to be using my little power supply I might have to do a little bit of shopping and and get a bit bigger power supply for uh, working on the higher voltage batteries, the 48 volt batteries. But I could also change the BMS and put a different BMS in with a active balancer, or I could go and get a balancer and put it on. So there's a couple of options I've got here and to see if we can get these cells back up. And once we get the voltage back up on these cells and get them nice and even, I'll do a capacity test again and then we'll see what our state of charge is. So I'd like your thoughts below of if, if I was to get another BMS and swap that out, would you recommend swapping the BMS over? I think Dally BMS is a lot of people are recommending. Would you get an active balancer? Uh, what active balancers would I get? Because I've never sort of really played around with that side of it with lithium batteries. I've got decades of experience of lead batteries, but lithium batteries, I'm still learning the ropes on some of the aspects of it. So let me know what balancer if you, I was to put one on and what BMS if I was to change it. Let me know in the comments below. That's it, no more videos. I need a break from it. I'm gonna edit this up, get it up to you. I'm gonna have a break for it. Near the end of the week, I'll release the little, little video I did on opening this battery up.